Assalamu alaikum. I am Mahabubur Rahman, Senior Lecturer, Department of Business Administration, Uttar University. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture about the input and output devices of computer. So it's very common and clear that every user of the computer must introduce about the input and output devices. So the user of the computer are mainly used the various input and output devices. We are the user also commonly known the various input and output device of computers, but we don't know how this input and output device works. So let's begin. So the, for, for the very first time in the chapter, we have introduced some content of this chapter. So uh, the chapter has some contents about input and output devices. So here is the content of the chapter, input devices, pointing devices, pick the devices, <clears throat> source data input device, printer, plotter, computer, and some computer output devices, which is a soft output device and hard output devices. So why the chapter? <clears throat> First of all, why we learn this chapter? Each and every user of the computer, and obviously the learner of the computer must know about the input and output devices. So each and every user and learner must know about the input and output devices of the computer because these input and output devices are very vital for any computer so before going to start we have to know which are the input devices and which are the output devices so every users and every learner must know about the input and output devices if we know very well about the input and output devices then it will be very helpful for our for our to use computer in a effective and useful way So here is the picture, look at this picture. This is the main scenario of this chapter. In this picture, all the words of inputs and outputs devices are comprised here. So if you look at this picture, then you can understand what we are going to tell you about in this chapter. So here is some of the input devices and some of the output devices. So some of the devices <clears throat> which dedicatedly, dedicatedly or directly related to uh, put something or give something as an input and this input, this devices is called the input devices, such as the mouse, keyboard, joystick, light pen, trackpad, scanner, barcode scanner, microphone, or keyword scanner. And some of the devices which uh, generally used to bring something as a output. And this device is called the output device, such as monitor, printer, headphone, video card, sound card, projector, plotter, speaker, etc. And some of the devices which act in as input devices and at the same time, it will be used as output devices. So if we look at the touch screen, so this touch screen is also input and output devices because in a touch screen, we can give the input directly and we can show or we can uh, feedback the output at the same time. So touch screen is the input and output devices. Digital camera, if you look at the digital camera, so you can give some instruction from this camera and you can also give the output, take output from same time from this camera. At the same way, pen drive, CD, DVD drive, modem, all are the input and output both devices. So here is the input and output unit, IOU. So input and output unit is a component of computer. The input and output unit is compressed of two parts, input units and output unit. The input unit is responsible for providing input to the computer. The input unit is responsible 
for providing input to the computer and as the same way output unit is for receiving output from the computer. So input unit, generally input unit get the data and programs from the various input devices and makes them available for processing to other units of the computer. So the main function of the input unit is that the input data is provided through input devices. So if we give any input by providing the input devices, so we must need the input unit, such as the keyboard, mouse, trackball, trackball, joystick. These are the input devices and it will also attest with the input unit. Input data can also be provided by scanning image, voice, video recording, etc. Input data provided a computer, all input devices must translate the input data into a form that is understandable by the computer. So if the computer cannot understand what we are giving to the input as an input, then computer cannot do anything. So all the input must be readable by the computer and it also readable by the machine. So the transformation of the input data to machine readable form is done by the input interface of the input device. So here is the output unit. The output unit gets the process data from the computer and sends it to output devices to make them available to the user of the computer. So the input data is provided through the output. So the output data is provided through the output devices, like the display in the screen, print out a printing prompt from the printer, a large uh, volume of print by the plotter, or a sound from the speaker. The process data sent to the output device is in a machine understandable form. Also, we are using the process data as a machine readable form because if the machine cannot read you the uh, process data, then it cannot be uh, display or it cannot be shown as the output. So this processed data is converted to the human readable form <clears throat> by the output uh, interface of the computer device. So here is a some input device. Input devices allow user and other applications to input data into the computer for processing. And these input devices, we generally divide it into the two types. One is the human data entry input devices and another is the source data entry input devices. In human data input, input devices, human must interact directly. So if human cannot interact directly each and every time, then human data input device cannot work. Such as keyboard, if we press any key in the keyboard, then it will be shown on the display. But if we cannot press any key in the keyboard, that the display cannot display any kind of key in the from the keyboard. So at the same way, if we cannot move the mouse, if we cannot click the mouse, then mouse cannot do anything. So this is the human data input device and input devices. In each and every stroke and each and every step, human must be interact. But in the source data input device, only one or only once the human can interact and next of the time or rest of the time, it will uh, interact or it will be run automatically or directly. So the in source data input device, human can interact once in a time. So that is if you uh, turn on your digital camera, just turn on it, then it will be goes on. So human just interact at one time and when it, uh, the recording is finished, then you just stop the recording. So human can interact in a digital camera to turn on this camera and turn off the camera. So this is two time uh, human can interact in here. So source data input device, human just interact once or two in a time. But in the human data input device, human interact each and every step of the devices. So source data input devices is the video output, such as a speaker, uh, uh, video and audio output, digital camera, speech recognition, 
স্পিকার ও ওসিয়ার এমআইসিআর ও এম আর বার্ক ট্রেডার স্ক্যানার হ্যান্ড হেল্ড স্ক্যানার ফ্ল্যাট বেড স্ক্যানার অল এর দ্য সোর্স ডেটা ইনপুট ডিভাইসেস অ্যান্ড হিয়ার ইজ দ্য হিউম্যান ডেটা ইনটু ইনপুট ডিভাইসেস কিবোর্ড সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ফিচার্স অফ কিবোর্ড ইউ থিঙ্ক জেনারেলি ইউ থিঙ্ক কিবোর্ড ইজ এ কমন ইনপুট ডিভাইসেস অ্যান্ড মোস্ট ভাইটাল this keyboard is most vital for every user of the computer because keyboard is a very an essential device and we cannot do many thing without the computer so it is provided along with the computer and it is easy to use it is used for entering the text data for importing the data the user types the data using the keyboard when the data is being typed the display monitor display the typed data cursor is a key or essential part for the keyboard so cursor is a vertical line and underscore blinking line etc so cursor has a vertical line underscore line or blinking line so cursor moves with each typed character the po position of cursor indicates the location on the monitor where typed in character will be displayed so that's the features of the keyboard so the general description about the keyboard keyboard generally design of a keyboard the design of a keyboard is similar to the standard typewriter so based on the concept from the typewriter keyboard has been developed so keyboard modern keyboard has some keys that contain 101 to 110 keys So in a, a keyboard, it uh, will contain in a standard keyboard 101 to 110 keys. So these keys are arranged in a five-section way. The first section is the typing key. So one, two, three, A, B, C, these are the typing key. So from the very beginning of the keyboard, uh, all the alphabets and numbers are the typing key. And some are the numeric keys. So numeric keys are... Um, on the right side of the keyboard so these numeric key are dedicated for the numeric uh, uh, keyboard function these are the mathematical key 1 2 3 4 just dedicated for this numeric uh, functions and some of the function key f1 to f12 these are on the top side of the keyboard and these keys are the functions keys is a special keys so from f1 to f12 it has some specific function and some of the control keys cursor keys control alter these are the control keys these can control something and some of the special purpose keys enter shift spacebar these are the special purpose keys these keys are used for special purpose and how keyboard works so when a key is pressed so remember that you just press in a key of the keyboard so what will happen inside the keyboard keyboard interact with the keyboard controller and keyboard buffer so when you just press a key in the keyboard then it interact with the keyboard controller and keyboard buffer the keyboard controller stores the code of pressed key in the keyboard buffer and informs the computer software that an action has happened on the keyboard so the computer software checks and reads the keyboard buffer and passes the code of pressed character to the system software due to a time gap between pressing of a key on keyboard and reading by the system software keyboard buffer is designed to store many key strokes together so the keyboard buffer is a small area in the computer's monitor that means ram that is used to temporarily store the keystrokes from the keyboard before they are pressed by the cpu a keyboard controller is a type of integrated circuit inside most computers that is designed to accept input from a keyboard and transmit it to the central processing unit where it then can be passed to the operating system for interaction so that way keyboard can interact and keyboard can show the data from keyboard to monitors 
So what is the features? Uh, one is uh, another uh, humidity input device is the mouse. The basic features of mouse, mouse is a common pointing device and is most commonly used uh, pointing device. The data is entered by the pointing the mouse to a location on the computer screen. The mouse may also be used to position the cursor on the screen. Move an object by dragging or select an object by clicking. The key benefit of using a mouse is that the cursor moves with the mouse. So the cursor can be positioned at any location on the screen by simply moving the mouse. So what is the description of the mouse? Mouse is a small handheld device having two or three buttons on its upper side. In addition to the bottoms, mouse also have a small wheel between the buttons. The wheel of the mouse is used for the up and down movement. For example, scrolling a long document, a, a mouse is classified as physical mouse or optical mouse. So generally, mouse has been divided in the two upper physical mouse and optical mouse. Physical mouse is a very old form of the mouse and is the ancient form of the mouse. In physical mouse has a rubber ball on the bottom side that portrays when the mouse is moved. It requires a smooth, dust-free surface such as a mouse pad on which it is ruled. On the other side, optical mouse is a light emitting dude, that means LED, and a sensor to detect the movement of the mouse. Optical mouse requires an opaque flat surface underneath. Optical mouse was introduced by the Microsoft in 1999. Optical mouse is better than physical mouse as there is no moving part that can cause where a tears and dirt cannot get inside it. So we are using, now we are using the optical mouse. So how the physical mouse works? The physical mouse rules and sensors are used to sense the detection um, and rate of the movement of the mouse when the ball of the mouse moves. The ruler sends the horizontal and vertical movement and sensor sense the speed of the movement. This information is passed to the computer via the mouse cord. When an optical mouse is moved, a beam of light is reflected from its underside. These pulses of the light determine the direction and rate of the movement. This information is sent to the computer via the mouse cord. On the other hand, some of the features or some of the use of the mouse in different ways. So we can use the mouse in different ways or different uh, uh, purpose, uh, such as the pointing, points to a location or object on the computer screen. Moving the mouse by hand moves the cursor on the computer screen. This cursor moves in the direction in which the mouse moves. So we can use the pointing by using the mouse, left click or just click. Click means pressing the left button of the mouse and releasing it, clicking is used to select a button, command or icon on the screen. So on the other hand, right click, the right, right click involves pressing the right button of the mouse and releasing it. Right click display a menu that contain options like card, copy paste, font, paragraph, etc. For the item in which the mouse is pointing. Double click, double click means pressing the left button of the mouse twice successively without moving the mouse and then releasing the mouse, it is used to start program or open the folder. So it's the most common use of the mouse and drag and drop. So we can use mouse for drag and drop. Drags an object and drops it at another location. Drag means pointing mouse to an object on the screen, pressing the left button of the mouse, keeping it pressed and moving the mouse to point to a new location. The object gets dragged to the new location along with the mouse. When the left button of the mouse is released, the object gets dropped at the new location. Drag and drop is used for moving folder files, icons to the new location of the skin. So here is a trackball. Uh, these are also the human data input device. A uh, trackball, the features of the trackball is a device that is a uh, variant of the mouse, but uh, has the functionality of the mouse. It is easy to use and takes less space than a mouse. Trackball is generally built in a left off since there is no space for the mouse to move the left. 
Prank balls comes in various sizes, small and big. Generally, trackball looks like an upside-down mouse. Instead of moving the wheel hole device to move the cursor to on the computer screen, trackball requires the ball to be rotated manually with a finger. The trackball device remains um, outstationary. The cursor on the computer screen moves in the direction in which the ball is moved. The bottoms on the trackball are used in the same way as mouse bottoms. Joystick, also joystick is a device which is commonly used for playing video games. Joystick is mainly used to control the speed of the cursor and is thus popular in the games involving a speed like the uh, racing or flying games. The direction of push of the stick and the amount of the Deflection determines the change in position and the change in speed, respectively. The, the common description of the joystick, it is a streak with its base attached to a flexible rubber thread inside a plastic cover. The plastic cover contains the circuit that detects the movement of the streak and send the information to the computer. The position of the streak movement is given by the X and Y coordinate of the streaks. So when the digitizing tablet is a uh, uh, input device used uh, primarily to input draw drawings, uh, streaks. A digitizing tablet is used for the computer aided design for designing the building, automotive design, and designing of maps, etc. The a digitizing ta tablet consists of the two parts: electronic tablet and pen. The electronic tablet is a flat bed tablet, and the pen looks like a ball pen, but has a electronic head. The pen is moved on the tab uh, tablet. Its position on, on the tablet corresponds to a fixed position on the skin. Drawings can be made on the tablet using a pen and is provided as input of the computer, where a location on the tablet corresponds to a specific location on the skin. So how is working? The tablet contains circuit that can detect uh, the movement of the pen on the tablet convert the movement into the digital signals and send the digital signal to the computer. So light fan, light fan is a, a light sensitive like input device and is used to select object directly on the computer screen. It is used for making drawing graphics and for menu selection. Figures and drawings can made by moving the pen on the computers. So how it's working? The pen contains a photo cell in a small tube. When the pen is moved on the skin, light from the skin at the location of the pen causes the photo cell to the respond. The electronic response is transmitted to the computer that can identify the position on the skin at which the light pen is pointing. The touch skin, the most popular use of the touch skin, this is the also the humidity input device. So it's an input device that accepts input when the user plays a finger trap on the computer screen. The computer selects the option from the menu of the screen to which the finger points. Touch skin are generally used in applications like the automated tailor machine, public information computers like the hospitals, airline reservations, railway reservations, and supermarkets. The touch skin consists of the clear glass panel that is placed over the view area of the computer screen. In addition to the glass panel with the sensor, it has a device uh, driver and a controller that translates the information captured by the glass panel sensor to a form that the computer can understand. So how does skin work? Does skin have a infrared beam that crisscross of the surface of the skin? When a finger trap is touched on the skin, the beam is broken and the location is recorded. Some touch skins have ultrasonic acro acrostic wave that cross the surface of the skin. When the finger trap, uh, finger trap is uh, touched on the skin, the wave is interpreted and the location is recorded. The recorded location is sent to the computer via the controller of the touch skin in a form that the computer can understand. So source identity input device, <clears throat> Audio input devices, generally audio input device can be provided to the computer using human voice or the speech. Audio input 
to the con computer can be used for the different purpose. It can be used for making the telephone calls, for audio and video conferencing over the internet, to record a voice, to create a video file, to embed the files, to send via email, or to translate spoken word into the text. The audio input device like a microphone is used to input a person's voice into the computer. A sound can translate analog audio signal from the microphone into the digital codes that can uh, that the computer can store and process. Sound can also translate back the digital sound into the analog signals that can be sent to the speakers. Translating speaking words into the text is also known as a speech recognition, the voice recognition. The audio input along with the software for voice recognition from the speech recognition system and voice recognition system. Video input device. These are also the uh, source of input device. Video input is provided to the computer using the video camera or, or digital camera. Video camera can capture the full motion video images. These images are digitalized and can be compressed and stored in the computer disk. Webcam is a common video camera device. It is placed on the computer above the screen to capture the images of the user who is working at the computer. A video capture card allows the user to connect video devices like the uh, camcorders to the computer. So the optical input device, optical input devices also allow the computers to use the light as a source of the input. Scanner is an example of the optical input device. Other common optical uh, input devices are the magnetic ink character reader used for magnetic ink character recognition, optical mark reader used for the OMR, optical character reader for the OCR, barcode reader. And another is the scanner. Scanner is an input device that accepts paper document as an input. So scanner is a used to input data directly into the computer from the source document without copying and texting, typing the data. The input data to be scanned can be a picture or a text or a mark on the paper. So optical input devices, optical input devices allow the computers to use the light as a source of the input. Scanner uh, is an example of the optical input device. Other common optical input devices are MICR, OMR, OCR, or barcode trader, scanner. So the handheld scanner are portable and are placed over the document to the scanner. They consist of light emitting dudes. The scanned documents are converted and stored as an image in the computer memory. Handheld scanners have to be moved at a constant speed over the document to be scanned to get the good quality scans. Flatbed scanners provide the high quality scan in the single press, single pass. It is a box shaped uh, machine similar to the photocopy machine and has a glass strap and a uh, lid that con covers the glass. Optical character reader or OCR. OCR is a technique for scanning uh, of a uh, printed pages, translated it, and then using the OCR software to recognize the image as a ACI uh, text uh, that is uh, editable. OCR uses optical character re uh, reader for recognizations. The optical character reader stores the scan images as the bitmap image, which is a grid of dots. MICR or magnetic ink character reader. MICR is used in the banks to process large volumes of the sex. It is used for recognizing the uh, magnetic encoding numbers printed at the bottom of the check. The numbers on the check are human readable and are printed using an ink which contain iron particles. These numbers are magnetized. OMR or optical mark recognition. OMR is used to detect marks on a paper. These marks are recognized by their darkness. OMR uses an optical mark reader to read the marks. The OMR reader scan the forms, detect the marks that is uh, positioned correctly on the paper and is darker than uh, the surrounding papers and passes this information to the computer for processing by application software. 
barcode reader are the adjacent vertical lines of different uh, uh, widths that are uh, machine readable. Goods available to the supermarket, books, etc. use barcode for the identification. Barcodes are read using reflective light by the barcode reader. And some of the output devices. And here is the some of the output devices. The most common output device is the printer. And uh, output devices provide the output to the users, which is uh, generated after uh, processing of the input data. The output devices has been divided into two main parts, hard copy output devices and soft copy output devices. The most common hard copy output device is the printer and plotter, and most uh, common soft copy output device is the monitor, uh, visual display terminal, video input, and audio response. So let's start it. So there are many uh, types of printers. Uh, so first of all, the impact printers. Impact printers use the typewriter approach of the physical striking a typeface against the paper and linked to Raven impact printer can print a character or an entire line at the same time. The dot matrix printer print one character at a time. The speed of the dot matrix printer lines between 200 to 600 characters per second. And the resolution spans from 72 to 360 DPI. Dot matrix printers normally comes the two size, 60 column printers and 132 column printer. These wheel printers also print a one character at a time they produce letter quality document which is better than a document printed by the dot matrix printers. The speed of the daisy wheel printer is also about the 100 CPS. Drum printers are also the line printers. They are expensive and faster than the character printers but produce a low quality output. They can print 200 to 2,500 lines per minute. So some of the non-impact printers Non-impact printers do not heat or impact a ribbon to the print. They use electronic chemicals and inject technologies. Non-impact printers are the faster and quieter uh, than the impact printers. So inject printers spray the ink drop directly to the paper like a jet. This resolution is more than 500 dpi. Laser printer provide the high quality of the text and graphics printing. Laser printers process and store the enter paste before printing and are also known as paste printers. The laser printer can print 5 to 24 pages of text per minute and their resolution runs 400 to uh, 1200 dpi. So it's very high quality. On the other side, some of the output of, of non impact printers are the plotters. Plotter is used for the Vector graphics output to draw the graphs, maps, blueprints of shapes, buildings, etc. Plotters are used uh, pens of the different colors. Plotters draw continuous and accurate lines in contrast of the printer where a line is drawn as closely speed dot. Plotter is a slow output device and is very expensive. So some of the computer output on the microfilm, a microfilm is a fins or roll format and it's used to record the computer output directly from the computer draft or cartridge. Computer output on microfilm or CUM is a high speed and low cost process. It can produce data in the microfilm form at a much faster speed from the paper printer. And soft copy device, so uh, these are the another side of the output device. These are the soft copy output device. So the most common soft copy output device is the monitor. Monitor is a common output device, and this is the soft copy output device. The monitor is provided the, along with the computer to view the displayed output. A monitor is the two kinds. And one kind is the monochromic display monitor and color display monitor. <clears throat> Generally, an image on the monitor is uh, created by the configuration of the dots and also known as the pixel. So uh, the clarity and the uh, process of the working of the monitor display, the resolution of the skin. So number of the pixel in the horizontal and vertical detections, more the number of the pixel, the surfer uh, is the image. The common resolution of the computer skin is 800 uh, to 600. 
or 1024 to 768. So another is a dot pitch, the diagonal distance between the two color pixels and a display screen and the refresh rate, the number of the times per second, the pixel are recharged so that their glow remain the bright. So here is some um, ports and these are the uh, USB ports. These are also input output ports. So the these are the peripheral devices of the computer and that can be connected to the computer in several ways. Devices such as network adapters, sound cards are connected to expansion slot inside the computers. Printers and scanners are connected to the plots on the back side of the computers, also in a portable computers. The PC card connect to the PC card slot. So some of the ports are the parallel ports, some of the serial ports. So the parallel port is the interface for connecting the eight or more data words, the data flow through the eight words simultaneously. They can transmit eight bits of data in a parallel. As a result, parallel port provide the high speed of the data transmission. Parallel port is used to connect the printer to the computers. So on the other side, another side, the serial port, a serial port transmit one bit of the data through a single wire. Since that is transmitted serially uh, uh, as a single bit, serial port provides the slow speed data transmission. Serial port is used to connect external modems, loaders, barcode trader, etc. Uh, some of the USB ports, so nowadays USB ports are very common and most popular external ports is available all the computers. Normally two or four USB ports are provided on a PC, so you can extend USB ports. So we are using USB port each and everywhere. And this USB port is being very popular in among of us, the user of the computers. A single user port, USB port can be support connections of up to 127 device. So in the IEEE 1394, this is the firewall. It is used to connect audio and video multimedia devices like the video camera. It is an expansion technology and is used for large data movement. Hard disk drive and new DVD drives connect to the firewalls. It has data transfer rates up to 400 megabytes per second. So here is all of our topics.